it's important to understand that valuing isn't simply wanting. Valuing is thoughtful activity. It's thought-driven, reason-guided, a discipline. To be a successful egoist, you have to learn how to value. Selfish valuing is not instinctual. It's not second nature. It requires the intelligent selection of ends as well as of the means that'll, that will attain those ends. You've got to assess potential values, candidate ends that you might embrace against the larger canvas of your whole life, all of its component values, commitments, your central purpose. To achieve happiness, you have to learn selfish ways to handle your wants, how to manage them, when to yield to them, when not to, what policy should govern that, how to evaluate your wants, which of them I should think, no, that's healthy, that's normal, that's okay, that's a sign of problems. Wait, that's coming from faulty or at least dubious premises. That may be a psychological issue I have to work on, right? Again, you've got to learn to manage your wants to be a serious, rational valuer. Selfishness, again, selfishness is demanding. It's not simply what's left over after you reject altruism, okay? It's not merely the default position. Rational egoism is a positive achievement.